All right, big news coming in from Maharashtra. The Mahavikas Agari warning against a friendly fight. Udav Thakre warning the rebel candidates in the fray. Udav Thakre has said, and I quote it here about how rebels must pull out or face action. Last day to withdraw the nomination. Time is running out for the Mahavikas Agari. Basically, Udav Thakre is saying that the 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 rebellion that may come in right now is not something that the Mahavikas Agari wants, and that is why it would be pertinent that um, those who are trying to pitch in that rebel faction, uh, they need to already decide if to step aside. Ane kani arjo magi ghitle suda hai. कई जन अर्ज आता मगे घ एक साधारण तीन वजता ही मुदत संपैन आता राहले कि वे जेमतेम एक तास रहा तो तीन वजन को नहीं घित्र स्पष्ट हो जर का कोई आम्मी संगी मगे घसल तो मग नाइलाजा पक्ष तैयारी कारवाई करे मात्र आम पूर्ण प्रयत्न है महाविकास आघाड़ी मनु आम एकत्रित निवूक लड़वत आहोत्तल का आता को दुमत नहीं है सर्वान जिथे जिथे पर संगत जैसे जैसे अपक्ष कि बंडखोर बनू ज्या ज्या पक्षा उम्मेदवार उभे रहे आम सूचना गेल तिथे का होल तो तीन वजता स्पष्ट पूछी आम जी का पाउल टाक India today is with they are tracking all the latest on that on the ground with their good afternoon what are you picking up about what exactly is happening and what did Udav Thakre mean when he said either the these rebels step aside or they face action now Uh, well of course he clearly means uh, business because uh, you know we all know that if uh, you know uh, there are rebel candidates who stand against alliance partners it will ultimately be the party alliance that will actually uh, lose its votes and that's one of the reasons why uh, neither like i was speaking to ashish shela just now sometime back and i asked him if they have been able to placate the feelings of the uh, you know the rebel leaders and whether the the rebel leaders have agreed uh, he also said exactly what udhav thakre has said that it is only after 3 o'clock that we will really get the exact picture as to what really has happened and whether uh, the rebels have pulled back or not but they have tried their best in the last couple of hours especially we had seen uh, almost every leader in fact right now i am outside uh, varsha where uh, uh, you know sada sarvankar one of the key uh, uh, leaders of uh, uh, the who is standing in mahim mahim as an ekna chinde camp leader uh, he was uh, you know he was he had refused to buckle down and was contesting against uh, amit Tha thakre uh, the son of raj thakre with whom literally an unsaid uh, you know alliance has been drawn by the bjp and the Uh, mahayuti leaders had been asking uh, that eknath chinde camp should not field a candidate and that sada sarvankar should take back his nomination and let amit thakre uh, uh, get a uh, you know free hold over this entire constituency if he really wins but certainly uh, you know last minute deliberations discussions are still going on it's around 3 when the final date deadline for the nomination withdrawal really ends when everyone will get to know what exactly is a figure and who has managed to fare better to convince uh, their uh, rebel candidates with that very interesting because also we are heading closer to the elections but do you think a similar situation is also in uh, the mahayuti or do you think it's more prominent in the mahavikas agadi right now Well, uh, Mahayuti actually had more candidates, more than 30, 35 candidates uh, uh, were rebels. Especially BJP was the one suffering the most with many of their own candidates uh, either pitted against their own BJP candidates or against uh, you know their alliance partners. Say, for example, Ekna Shinde camp leaders uh, where they had been fielded, or even the Ajit Pawar faction leaders. So, uh, of course, the BJP was uh, the one which had the maximum rebels. Uh, Ashish Shelar was very positive uh, the, the some time back when he said that. most of the uh, you know rebels have decided to pull back but we'll get the exact figure only after 3 uh, and it's in the situation with the mahavikas agadi as well both the alliances very sure that they will be able to uh, you know ward off the trouble that their own rebels had been creating for them and uh, before the campaigning full fledged campaigning which is going to start from tomorrow well before that starts uh, the the you know the rebel leaders would have been uh, uh, made sure that they would uh, you know either with promises or with threat whichever way it is the, yes. they will be uh, you know stepping down very interesting vidya i request you to please stay on with me because uh, to the viewer let's uh, tell you more about the battle for maharashtra it's a very crucial stage
it's the last day to withdraw nomination papers and that means as much for those who have been announced as official candidates and those fighting as independents as rebel candidates so both for mahavikas agadi and the mahayuti last minute efforts are being made to pacify the rebels if there are at all but remember even for Mah mahayuti which is the ruling coalition 39 are possibly as it appears are already rebel candidates who are not happy with either the uh, the constituency that they have got or that they have been denied a ticket 15 for mahavikas agari rebels are in the fray udav thakur and sanjay raut will be meeting sharad pawar at the residence today and we are told there will be a discussion and deliberation on this on the other side bjp rebel gopal shetty withdrew the nomination in the presence of piyush goyal and has pledged support to the bhartiya janata party so that's one rebel they have managed to pacify this after the maharashtra bjp president appealed to mahayuti rebels to withdraw also their nomination or perhaps face action so amid the separate woes that uh, each of these coalition is facing samajwadi party mla rai sheikh has written to mahavikas agari to make a 10000 crore rupees budget for members of the muslim community include common minorities program in the mahavikas agari's manifesto more like a demand that he has put forth lekin ye nalayak log behan ka apman kar rahe hain inko behan chunav mein aane wale chunav mein hamari behna inko chappal dikhayegi और चप्पल दिखाकर जो महाराष्ट्र की सरकार जो ये वोट मांगने जाएंगे इनके ऊपर बहिष्कार करेगी और वोटों के माध्यम से महाराष्ट्र में भारतीय जनता पार्टी और महायुति की सरकार लाएगी हमारी लाडली बन इनको चप्पल दिखाकर हमें मतदान करेगी राहुल गांधी को जिस प्रकार से हरियाणा में बाहर का रास्ता दिखा दिया लोगों ने उस प्रकार से महाराष्ट्र की जनता भी बाहर का रास्ता दिखाएगी जब तक मोदी जी और भारतीय जनता पार्टी तब तक आरक्षण रहेगा लेकिन राहुल गांधी कहते हैं इस देश को आरक्षण की जरूरत नहीं है तो महाराष्ट्र की ओबीसी एससी एसटी और जिन जिन को आरक्षण मिलता है वो सारी जनता राहुल गांधी को घर का रास्ता बताएगी और नागपुर में भी हम उनका बहिष्कार करेंगे देखिए हम नब्बे लड़ेंगे या 105 लड़ेंगे यह हमारा मकसद नहीं है हम महाविकास आघाड़ी है और महाविकास आघाड़ी बनकर लड़ेंगे आज शाम तक पूरा पिक्चर क्लियर हो जाएगा और ज्यादा से ज्यादा जो लोग ने उम्मीदवार अर्ज नॉमिनेशन फाइल किया है वो पीछे ले गए दिन के पहले एक बात और दो दिन के बाद में दूसरी बात करता हूँ ऐसा नहीं मतभेद कभी था ही नहीं एक मुद्दे को लेकर जो भी बातें चली उसको हमने चलाया और मुझे लगता है कि सही जगह पर वो पहुंच गया है और क्या हुआ कैसे हुआ ये कहने की कोई आवश्यकता नहीं पार्टी के नेता बहुत बड़े हैं पार्टी बहुत बड़ी है व्यक्ति हमेशा छोटा होता है इसलिए मैं आज भी छोटा अपने आप को महसूस करते हुए मैं पार्टी के लोग उनसे भी कहूंगा कि मेरे से अगर कोई गलती भी हुई होगी तो उसको वो क्षमा करें अपक्ष फॉर्म भरने की वजह एक थी कि पूरे शहर में मुस्लिम समाज का एक प्रतिनिधित्व चाहिए सभी कौम से आवाज थी वो आवाज के ऊपर मैं लब्बे का और मैंने आगे बढ़ा क्योंकि गरीब चालीस साल से हम देख रहे हैं जो कांग्रेस पार्टी के लिए हम दिलो जान से काम करते हैं उन्होंने कई लीडरों ने हमें से वादा किया था कि मुख्तार भाई आप फिक्र मत करो समाज को ये बारी का उम्मीदवार आपको दिए जाएंगी इसलिए मैंने मतदार संघ के अंदर सभी कम्युनिटी के हमारे जो नगर सेवक है महापौर है जिन्होंने इलेक्शन कांग्रेस की थी विधानसभा उन सब से मिला मुलाकात की और सबका मुझे पार्टी में बता पर बदकिस्मती से हमारे जो नेता है उन्होंने मुझे उम्मीदवारी नहीं दी तो मेरी थोड़ी नाराजी थी और समाज का ये बोल रहा था आप लड़ो हम तुम्हारे साथ तो मैंने फाइल नॉमिनेशन किया मैं लड़ रहा हूँ और मैं लड़ रहा हूँ मेरे कांग्रेस के लिए मैं लड़ रहा हूँ जो जनता की हालत है यहाँ पे जो पर्वती मतदार संघ का विकास जीरो है हम किसके हाथ मजबूत कर रहे हैं बीजेपी के तो उसके लिए फाइट करना है कांग्रेस को तो मुझे ताकत चाहिए और वो मेरा कांग्रेस मुझे ताकत दे मैं आपसे माध्यम से एक रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा आदरणीय सोनिया जी आदरणीय राहुल जी हमारे चेन्नी तला हमारे नाना भाऊ है इन सबको मैं एक रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा आप मुझे ताकत दीजिए